we are in what we would call a up, upswing or the beginning of the cycle. Uh, the demand is outpacing the supply. That's going to be the case in the short uh, and medium term for sure. The investment in the infrastructure, building these large convention centers in Delhi, one in Pragati Medan, one in uh, Dwarka, uh, another one which was opened in Mumbai, the Geo World Center, all these are going to help the demand to increase many folds in the years to come. And I think uh, the sector is very well positioned. So I, I believe... What's the challenge? What's the challenge? Yes. The challenge is how do you get more hotels in such a location in Delhi or great locations in Mumbai because especially we have five brands but Taj is our most iconic brand and to get iconic locations and iconic assets uh, is not as easy in today's world versus when we started 120 years ago. Would you consider inorganic uh, opportunities, growth opportunities we and acquiring properties? We would consider property? any opportunities which make sense and which are a good fit. Are you uh, evaluating anything right now? We are constantly evaluating opportunities. We are growing very fast. We are opening 20 hotels this year. We have a pipeline of 80 hotels. We signed 36 uh, contracts last year. Um, in the first quarter we announced uh, again almost 12 contracts. So I think the going on the growth part is very good for us, including international. What about funding at a time when uh, interest rates are so high? Well, firstly, we are a zero debt company. Secondly, we are sitting on cash reserves. Thirdly, our model today is a balance between asset heavy and asset light. So the majority of our growth uh, is on an asset light model. And for our ginger brand, we do enter into operating leases, which is counted as asset heavy. But that's the model that makes sense for that kind of positioning. So we are, we are on a growth journey. We have signed more than 120 contracts in the last five years.